many people they're like okay well it was 50 bucks and now it's 25 well I'm saving $25 but you're still spending those $25 and you could have had $25 more in your bank account Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to a stylist tips and tricks. I am Marinelle. The topic is how we can avoid buying clothes that we are going to regret later. I would love to share a few tips and a few questions that I believe we should ask ourselves to just avoid buyer's remorse. Let's say I know for a fact I am not the only one who bought something and then regret it as soon as I got home or when an unexpected bill pops up. I know for a fact I am not the only one. Therefore, the goal for this video is just to just help us be more mindful with your shopping and for us to save our coins, our hard-earned money. Hopefully, you guys can learn a few things from me and I'm hopefully, I'm sure, I'm not afraid that I can learn a few things from you in the comments. But before I do so, if you're new here, like I said, I am Marinelle and on this platform we're all about helping each other out we're all about sharing fashion tips fashion tricks if that sounds interesting to you then feel free to click on the subscribe button be a part of this beautiful tribe be a part of this beautiful family let's get to the topic at hand and share let's start with the questions first that I believe you should ask yourself before buying something new hopefully it will help some of you today one of the questions that I believe you should ask yourself is can you create two full look with that specific item? I know that some people are going to ask themselves, okay, can I wear it with multiple items in my wardrobe? But I would love for you guys to focus on creating full looks, not just wear it with a pair of pants, but do you also have the pair of shoes that goes with it? Do you also have the accessories that goes with it? You need to think about that because if not, you're just gonna go ahead and buy it and you're gonna spend more money because a look from head to toe is yes the top and the and, and the bottom but there's also the shoes and there's also the accessories so if you think about it okay that specific top let's say you're trying to buy a blouse or a t-shirt that specific top can I wear it with one pant or two pants yes but what about the shoes what about the accessories it is important for you to ask yourself if you can create two full looks if it is less than two just one look just go ahead and give it up especially for some of us women we don't like to wear something over and over and over again so you're gonna wear it one time and then you're gonna wait like two to three months before you wear it again if you cannot create two full looks with it just give it up just let it go the second question that I believe you should ask yourself is can you wear it repeatedly repeat regularly there you go can you wear it regularly what I mean by that is it's good to know that you can create two looks with it but can those looks can you wear it for multiple events for multiple nights out for multiple activities if you can only wear it to go to work uh, I mean is it worth it how much it how much does it cost like is it worth those 80 bucks that you're about to spend it's good to know that you can wear something that okay i can um, create a look with it and that look i can actually go to work with it i can actually go to a get together a sink i said uh whatever it is i can actually visit my families um, for a barbecue whatever it is can you wear it regularly can you wear it multiple times it's also another question that you should definitely ask yourself to know if it actually if, if, if it works it like do you actually want to spend that amount of money in that specific item i also want you guys to ask yourself if it was it on sale will you buy it? if it is on sale of course if it is regular price and it doesn't count but if you looking at an item that is on sale right now if it wasn't on sale will you actually spend the money if the answer is no then you're just buying it because you're taking that you're about to get a good deal you're not buying it because you need it you buy you're buying it because it is on sale and to you the fact that it was 50 bucks and now it's 25 bucks like oh my god it's a good deal let me get it you're still spending 25 bucks that you could have kept to yourself you need to definitely think about that as well number four ask yourself how much are you willing to pay without looking at the price tag first usually when people answer that question it is based on their budget how much money that they have now how much money that they are willing to spend on that specific item if you look at the price tag and it is way too much let's say you tell yourself 20 bucks and it is like 40 bucks like double just let it go just it, it is out of your budget you cannot afford it just let it go now if it is like five dollars or I mean I get it your mind be like okay it's just five dollars I can afford it 
but if it is 10 bucks or more just walk away sis or oh, sir you don't need it another thing that can discourage you from buying an item is the cost per wear if that item costs 50 bucks let's say and your job pays you ten dollar an hour do you realize that you have worked five freaking hours to pay that specific item five hours you let's say you do customer service you waited on the line you, you took calls for five hours five clients bitching at you for five hours or 10 clients 20 clients whatever it is bitching at you for five hours for you to pay for that specific item is it worth it is it really 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 worth it i don't think so it, it, it's just not think about the cost per wear that is one thing honestly that always discouraged me when it comes to buying a specific item if i know that i had worked hard like more than four hours to pay for that specific item i might actually more than three hours to pay for that specific item i'm, I'm gonna walk away like knowing me, I am going to walk away. Then think about the Casper where it is a good way to trick your mind to really, so, so you can really ask yourself, do you really, really need it? Do you have something similar at home? And I want you to think about the style, the fit, and the color. Do you have something similar for two out of three? Just, just leave it. Also ask yourself, do you have something, do you own something that serves the simi a similar purpose or that gives the same vibe? Let's say a tank top, a tank top for example. Um, let's say you want to buy this tank top so that you can wear sheer blouse at work so that they don't see your bras and your belly and etc. Um, do you have another tank top that does the same thing it might be um this tank top is white and certain tank top is black do you need a black and a white i mean ask yourself i'm pretty sure for some people the answer is no because the goal is for them to not see um your bra and your belly and your skin under that blouse at work that's the goal so if it's same if it serves the same purpose what is the point of having it like you don't really need it or let's talk about a t-shirt whenever you're wearing that t-shirt it gives like a tropical vibe you know summer vacation hawaii beach whatever it is do you have a t-shirt that already gives the same vibe like when people are looking at you when you're wearing it they're like oh my god you remind me of vacation of you know relax or whatever it is if it gives you the same vibe then you don't need it and not at all just let it go that is a big one does it flatter your silhouette and i'm gonna go back to um items on sale to explain that one sometimes when you see an item is on sale for like half the price or 75 percent we are quick to be like oh my god it's a good deal let me go get it and then when we try it on it doesn't it's not a perfect fit like it looks good it looks okay but we feel like okay over there it's a little bit too tight or it's a little bit too big but it is a good deal let me get it still because it's 75 percent off it's 50 percent off i will deal with how i can fix it later or maybe um have a tailor fix it later just let it go like it it doesn't fit you perfectly then it is not for you and let's say you do have a good tailor um which is which is actually something that i do honestly you guys if i have something that don't really fit me very well i just call a tailor honestly if i really really want it but it is another expense do you really want to spend money when you didn't plan on buying that specific item to begin with if it's an item that you needed that you were looking for i get it but if it's not something that you needed and it's just because it is a good deal it is 50 percent 75 percent off well that the money that you're saving you're about to spend it on a tether to fix that specific item so it can flatter you perfectly it's not worth it just it is not worth it so does it flatter um your silhouette to me is a big one does it flatter every inch of your body every curves whatever you want to show whatever you want to hide is it the perfect fit you need to definitely think about that as well to click on the subscribe button after you're done watching this video just go ahead and then watch a few previous videos i have videos on this channel that i believe are very interesting according to me i'm not saying this because it's my channel i'm saying it because other people have said it therefore make sure that you click on the subscribe button and make sure that you go and then watch the other videos